Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and today I'm really excited to talk to you about something called sketch planes. Imagine if I had this piece of paper and I start sketching something on it. And then I move the piece of paper and I sketch some more curves. But the initial curves that I sketched remain in space. Anytime I move the plane, I'm just using it as a plane to sketch on. But when I move it, the curves that I sketch stay in the place where I sketched them in 3D space. Well, eventually you're going to get something that looks like a 3D model or a 3D sketch. That's exactly the concept behind sketch planes in UMake. That's what I want to show you in this tutorial. So to jump in, I'm going to start talking about the axes in UMake. I just want to show you them so you understand what's, what exactly is happening with sketch planes. First off, let's start with the origin. The origin is where the x-axis, noted in red, the y-axis, noted in green, and the z-axis, noted in blue, come together. It's your 0, 0, 0 point. Now, anytime you make a sketch plane in UMake, you're basically going to be shifting this origin point, and you're going to be shifting these planes up or over so that you can sketch in space. You can offset your planes that you're sketching. By default, any of the standard views you're going to be sketching in will sketch in the zero point of those planes. So if I sketch in the front view, for example, I'm sketching along the x-axis. If I sketch in the side view, I'm sketching along the z-axis. And if I sketch from the top view, I'm sketching kind of on the floor uh, between the z and the x-axis, for example. Those curves do exist in space, but for example, what if I want the circle that I just drew, what if I want that up here in space? Well, I can move it. But that's not ideal. I want to sketch that circle in space. That's what sketch planes allow you to do. They allow you to sketch right in space. So to start off simply, I am going to erase these. I'm going to go back to the front view. And I'm just going to tap and hold anywhere in space. And I'm going to get this little red dot with some dotted lines around it. Now what that just did is I enabled or activated the sketch plane mode. Right now, if I draw something, it's no different as it, than if I were to draw in the front view. But where this really changes things is if you start orbiting. If I orbit up, you're going to see that this grid sticks with the point. And as I get to a certain point, that grid is going to shift. It's going to change angles. And depending on where I have the camera, the sketch plane will change. So right now, it's just like I had the front view. but if I shift like that and I draw a circle, I have now offset that circle and drawn it in space with ease. Same thing if I want to draw the circle kind of offset from the center line uh, from the, the side view, I can do that as well. And now that circle exists in space. So you can see that the grid is shifting and I'm able to offset the plane where I I'm drawing, just like I mentioned earlier in the tutorial about that piece of paper. So let's put this to use. I'm going to go to the side view here. I'm going to exit out of the sketch plane mode. I can tap done. Or if you are in sketch plane mode and you double tap anywhere in the canvas, that will exit out. To put this to use, let's draw something like a curve like this. All right. There we go. Now. I'm going to tap and hold on any point on this curve. You can go any point in a curve, and that will put the sketch plane on that curve. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to draw a curve just like this. All right, so now I've essentially did the same thing, a single point sketch plane, and I was able to offset this curve, the location of this curve. Now I want to close this shape and make it a more complex shape. So I'm going to tap and hold at the end of this curve, tap and hold on the end of this curve, and you'll see that now I have what is called a two-point sketch plane. This means the plane exists between these two points, and as I move the camera, it'll shift the angle of that plane between those two points as well. I can draw a curve connecting them. Uh, let's make something a little nicer. There we go. But I can also, if I run around here and shift, the plane, I can also draw a different type of curve. You'll see that based on the sketch plane that you choose, 
that will change the overall look and shape of the curve. I'm going to make a sketch plane between these two points. And you'll see that when I made that sketch plane initially, there's no graph right now. There's no, there's no grid, actually. Sorry, there's no grid. The grid is gone, which means if I draw a curve, it's not going to appear. But if I move the camera, once you see the grid, you can start sketching. I'm going to sketch a nice curve like that between those. And now I have a curve that goes out at an angle, curves out, exists in space, all done with ease with sketch planes. Here I'm going to tap and hold along that curve. I got another sketch plane. I'm just going to draw a simple curve like that. And then at the end of this curve, tap and hold on the end of that. I can sketch a very simple little line. Nothing. Let's see. I'll come back actually. Redo that. Like that. Now. I can select everything. I'm going to mirror it along the Z axis. And in no time, I am starting the sketch of a little boat. So you can see how quickly and easily using sketch planes can get you uh, a pretty cool result and a 3D sketch. Something that is really unique and powerful in Yume. If you have any comments or questions or feedback for us or want to know more about sketch planes, let us know. You can contact us on our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter pages. And we wish you the best of luck. We can't, see what to, we can't wait to see what you create with sketch planes. And have a happy and creative day. Take care, guys.